And off we go. Let's start out with a warm up. We're going to get ourselves moving. Bring your arms by your side and take some big arm circles forwards. Keep in mind that this is your workout. This is your class. So definitely make it your own. Take breaks as you need. So distractions and modify it for your fitness level. I'll provide modifications so that we can make the exercises more or less challenging. And you just make it your own workout, whatever you need. Take a torso twist, bring it side to side. And for anybody who might be new to Tabata, Tabata is a high intensity interval workout where you work for 20 seconds and then you rest for 10. That's how today's class will go. Extend your arm and cross your arm. Now extend your arm over your head. Having something going on. Awesome. Take the feet, widen them out, lunge side to side. Bring the arms out, window, or reaching for the opposite foot. Awesome, come on back in. Let's go squat and body weight press. Press your hands up to the sky after you squat for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and we're gonna do 15 jumping jacks. You may step like this or you can jump. Ready, set, begin. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. We're gonna finish up our warm up with some inchworms and push ups. So take your hands, place them on your mat, walk all the way out until you hit a plank position. If you drop your knees for push ups, do that now and give me one push up. Lift the knees if you dropped them, walk yourself back up, reach your arms all the way up over your head, and we're gonna do that four more times. Walk it out, take your push up, walk it back in. Reach up overhead. Three more. Two more. I'll let you do that because I love my stopwatch over here. And last one. Once you're finished, come on up to a marching place or a jogging place. And I'm going to show you what's up for class. So you keep moving. I'm going to talk for a second. First exercise we're going to do is a wall sit. If there's not a wall around you, don't you worry. It's all good. What you're going to do instead is hold at the bottom of a squat. If you do have a wall, you're going to join me up against your wall, pressing yourself into the wall, and the legs will be at a 90 degree angle. So that'll be our first 20 seconds of the workout. Second exercise is going to be a fly jack. So it's a jumping jack variation where your hands are in front, you come out, you in. So that was slow mo. If you're going fast mo, it'll look like this. If you're not jumping, you're going to modify step, step. I do live in an apartment with lower neighbors, so I choose not to jump for my workouts. If you have knee issues or you're in the same scenario as me, you can join me in the low impact version. But if you're ready to go and you want to sweat and you want to jump, by all means, jump it out. So we're going to go back and forth between those two exercises. Are you still marching in place and jogging in place? Back and forth between those two exercises for four rounds. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You guys ready? The answer is yes. You're ready. You got this. Starting with that fly jack. Three, two, one. Let's go. 20 seconds. 20 seconds goes by pretty quick, but so does the 10 seconds of rest. So try to pace yourself and work hard. 
We got five seconds left here, and then it's a 10 second break. Three, two, one. You get 10 seconds, catch your best, shake it off, prepare for your wall sit or your squat hold in four, three, two. Let's go. Not a second to waste. As soon as I say begin, you better be in it. Nice shot. 15 seconds here. Push, push, push yourself into the wall. Do you feel how much your quads are working now? Keep it that way. Eight seconds left. Three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, so that was round one. We're gonna do that three more times to make four rounds. Fly jacks in four, three, two, let's go. Open close. Try to keep your arms long and strong. Your pace is up to you. Stick with it, 10 more seconds. Two, one, rest. Wall sit, start to prepare. Either wall sit or squat hold. In four, three, get set up to begin. Nice work, you guys. Keep actively pushing yourself into the wall. We've got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, look at that. We're already halfway there. We've got two more sets of this, beginning with our fly jack in three, two, one. Here goes. It's challenging, whatever that looks like for you. Might be faster or slower than me. This is your workout, not mine. So you've got to be in charge. Six seconds to go. Two, one, rest. Wall well, set coming up. Seven, six, get prepared. Three, two, one, here we go. After this, it's just one more set of these exercises, and then we're on to another round. Stay with it, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, rest. So the last round, the last set of fly jacks. See if you can keep a quick and large piece yesterday. Two, one, let's go. Good job. Last couple seconds and rest. Final wall sit, and then we're on to the next. We'll get a water break in between before we move on to the next round. Three, two, one, here we go. Breathe. You can do anything for 20 seconds. 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Water break. How we feeling? Hanging in there. Cheers to you. I like the thumbs up, Catherine. Our next round is going to be on your mat. So if you have a mat, go ahead and make your way down there. If you don't, just clear some space on the floor so that you feel comfortable to do some push ups. And what's our other exercises? Some Russian twists. That's what's coming up next. So, our push up variation today is called a hand release push up. So, we're working our chest and our triceps for our push up phase, but our back and our shoulders for our hand release. Notice that I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together and lifting my, my hands maybe two inches off the ground. But I'm going to press back up in a stiff straight line. This can be done from the knees or from the toes, like I just showed you. Second up, we're going to flip ourselves around and we're going to rush and twist. Feet can be up, feet can be down. That's up to you. You can also grab a weight and hold it in your hand if you want. So prepare for your hand release push up. We'll begin in four, three, two, here we go. Pulling the shoulder blades back nice and strong with the upper back as you lift your hands off. 
Try to avoid any wiggle worming on the way down and up. Keep your body completely straight. And rest. This is 10 seconds to transition into your Russian twist. See if you can loosen up long, long spine, lean back, and now begin. Keep everything nice and long rather than rolled up with the shoulders. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, that was one. We've got three more. Get ready for your hand release push up. Three, two, one, begin. Lowering down and coming up with a straight body. And rest. Russian rest. Second set. Roll the shoulders back, long spine, lean back, and begin. Make sure you're using your whole entire torso to twist, not just your arms. Stick with it, five seconds left. And rest. All right, we're halfway there. We can do it again. Get ready. Get set. And release push up. Five seconds to go. And done. Russian twist. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Great job, you guys. Can you lean back one more inch? You got it. Three, two, one. All right, we've got one more round. Then we're on to the next set. Five, four, get ready. Three, two, begin. Halfway. How many can you get done in the next eight seconds? Keep going. Two, one, rest. All right, Russian twist. Last step through in three, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds left. Four, three, two, one. All right, come on up. Take a water break. Get yourselves ready for another standing round. Woo, you guys are doing great. Next up, we're gonna be doing a skater. So you can choose to jump, which would look like this. It's a hop to the side and your foot comes behind. So hop, cross, hop, cross. And you can add some arms reaching out and down, make it your own. So that's the intense, or not intense, but a higher impact version. You can still maintain intensity and take that jump away. Same movement, reach, tap, reach, tap. So you're up, your speed is up to you and that's what's gonna make this one challenging. Second exercise is a bear to a plank. If you've ever done a bear crawl, this is what that looks like. So we're gonna be in a tabletop position. You're gonna tuck your toes and lift. So my knees are just maybe two inches above the ground, one knee. You're gonna come out into your plank, in to your bear. Make sure that you have complete parallel torso with the mat the whole time. 
All right, we're starting out standing with the skater. In three, two, one, begin. You got it. Big jump or big reach side to side. And done. All right, let's set up for that bear position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, tuck your toes, lift. Keep your back flat and begin. Step out, out, in, in, right to your original position. And imagine that there's a bowl of water on your back. You can't spill it. You got this. Stay strong for a few more seconds. Press the floor away. Three, two, one. All right, get yourselves ready. Skaters. Second set. Four, three, two, here we go. Nicely done, halfway there. Three, two, one, and you rest. Come on down for that bear and plank. Three, two, one, begin. Out, out, in, and in. Going at a pace that works for you. In three, two, one, done. Second or third set of skaters. We're in the home stretch, past halfway. Ready, set, begin. Halfway. And done. All right, there's a plank. Flatten out your back, find a neutral spine, engage your belly, and begin. Keep the abs tight. You got it. After this, just one more set. And done. All right, final set of skaters. Let's finish strong. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Three, two, one. Bear to plank, final set. Get ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Make sure your hips aren't up. We got eight more seconds. And rest. Awesome. This is your water break. We have two more rounds to get to. Clapping for you, Catherine. Good job. We got one more standing round, and then the last round will be on the mat. It's another core round. This one is pretty much all cardio, so hang in there. It's going to feel a little breathless. A little bit uncomfortable, but I will leave it. So option one, you're gonna use running arms for your knee repeater. Option two, a little more intense because we'll be using more parts of our body. You're gonna pull and extend, pull, pull, pull. So I'm gonna tell you what foot to put where for this whole round. So you just listen to me or mirror my body. Second exercise is a straddle run. So you can go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. 
and you can find a pace that works for you. It might be super quick. It might be a walk, whatever is gonna challenge you. Again, I'll tell you what foot to do or when. We're gonna start with our left foot forward and our right foot back for our knee repeater. Again, it's running arms or a pull. In three, two, one, go. Keep a bend in your left leg. Five seconds left. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Done. Okay, rest. We're gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. In three, two, one. Here we go. Find your pace. Stick with it. And get your arms involved. Nice job. And rest. Okay, switching over to the other side now. Right foot forward, left foot back. Knee repeater if we're running in place. Three, two, one, go. Keep that intensity. Three, two, one. Straddle run. Right, left, right, left. And six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Let's see that hustle. Eight seconds. And rest. Okie dokie. Back we go to the original side. Left foot forward, right foot back in three, two, one. Let's go. Use the arms. Find some power through that leg. Let's go. You got it. Five seconds. And rest. All right, that same leg, it's going out, out, in, in. Left, right, left, right. In four, three, two, let's go. Eight seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. And done. Uh, all right, back to this side. Right foot forward, left foot back. Beginning in three, two, one, go. Last set of these, so really make it count. We got 10 seconds. And rest. All right, out, out, in, in. In three, two, one, here we go. Finish strong. Three, two, one rest. Okay, we have one final round to complete. And then we'll see what time we have left over. Might be time to stretch. We might do a little finisher, kind of notorious for adding in little extra smidgens at the end. Our last round is on the ground. So meet me there. Then we're gonna be doing plank pipe ups. So you'll come into a forearm plank. You're gonna lift your hips to the sky as you drive one knee into your chest and then release back down. Hips to the sky, other knee in, release. You just keep switching one leg, then the other. Second exercise, I'll show you when we get there. 
All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. Begin, plank, pika. Knee to chest, release. Knee to chest, release. Keep it going. And rest, come onto your belly, reach your arms forward over your head and feet behind. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Three, two, one, go, back extension. And done. Second set of plank pike ups. Tuck your toes, set your forearms up, lift into your plank, and begin. And rest onto your belly, you go. Second set of back extensions. And three, two, one, let's go. Straight arms and legs. And rest. All right, we're halfway through this round. We can do it two more times. Get prepared for your forearm plank. Begin in three, two, one, let's go. You can absolutely just hold your plank here if it's getting to be too much. You can even drop your knee into a knee plank. And rest onto your belly. Reach your arms overhead. Begin in three, two, one, let's go. Ten seconds left. And rest. All right, my friends, it's our last set. We can do this one more time. Get prepared for your forearm plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Make the most of it. Three, two, one, rest. Last set of these back extensions. And begin. Five seconds to go. And rest. Whew. All right. We got a little bit of time. And I was talking to Becca, I said 30 minute workout, and she's like, I think that'll be perfect. They do like to stretch at the end. So what we're gonna do is a little finisher, and then we will finish with stretching after we're done. So I have heard that you guys like to sweat. We love burpees. If that's a lie, take it up with the, your fitness center people. But we're gonna finish up with four rounds of burpee, just like we've been doing. It's only gonna take two minutes. So two minutes every day is not that bad, right? Yeah. You're gonna squat down, either step out, step in, reach up, or squat down, jump out, jump in, jump up. So choose your poison. Last thing we're gonna do for the day, two minutes with breaks in between. You're not going for the full two minutes, don't worry. <laughs> Get ready. Get set, begin. 
really in 20 seconds. You can't get that many burpees done anyway, but I challenge you to see how many you can do. And rest. Mental note, how many did you do? Can you do at least that many in the next set? Set two, get ready. Get set, here we go. And rest. All right, two rounds down, two to go. You got this. Get ready, get set, begin. Try to get as many as you did last time. Stay with it halfway. And done. Okay, one more set. We're already sweaty. We're already tired. We might as well do it one more time. Get ready. Get set. Begin. And rest. Okay, grab some water. Take a breather. Catch your breath. The hard work is done. We're on. Yeah, cheers to that. Agree. I will celebrate the burpees being over. On to some stretching, some cooling down. Why don't you go ahead and start to take a walk around your space if you don't have a lot of space? Just step side to side. I'm gonna let the heart rate come down. Let everything kind of chill out before we stop moving. It's important to cool down. And then just go right into a stretch. Now, as you're moving, you might be stepping with me, you might be walking around in circles. Take your right arm and cross it over your chest. Nothing better than having your workout done at lunch on Friday, right? Now you're done. You don't even have to worry about it. You're ready to go on to the weekend, enjoy the day. So sides. And release. Interlace your hands behind your back. Press down and away. If that's not comfortable or your body does not like it, reach for opposite elbows and pull your shoulders back. Plant the feet. Interlace your hands. Round and reach forward. Take a big reach up over your head and over to the left. Over to the right. And release. Shake it out. Grab onto one foot for a quad stretch. Even out your knees. And then take your hips and your ribs and tuck it all in. Then switch to the other side.
Take that same foot, reach it forward, straighten out your leg, bend the other knee and place your hands on it for a hamstring stretch. And come on up and switch. Release, take a wide-legged stance, turn your toes forward, place your hands on your hips, and then fold forward. Keep a long spine as long as you can. Once you feel that sticky spot, you can reach your hands towards the ground. If they don't reach, just widen out your feet even more until they do. You might even let yourself hang all the way down. And however works best for you, sit yourself into a seated position and bring your feet together. Slide your heels toward your body. You can hold your ankles if your knees are all the way up here. It's almost like you can use your elbows to gently press them down, but that will force a stretch and will start to fold forward. Roll your way on up, bring your feet in front of you. Cross your right leg over your left for a boot stretch. Another way to get into that is to straighten one, cross one, and slide. Then notice, are you sitting like this and we all sorts of rounded? Can you open up your shoulders and your chest to sit up nice and tall? And slowly release whatever leg is on top, switch it to the bottom. Please sit however is comfortable for you. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Maybe even close your eyes. Now you're starting to cool down. Heart rate is slowing, relaxing a little bit. And then bring the other ear to the other shoulder. And then draw the chin to the chest. Bring your gaze back up. We'll finish with a tricep stretch. Reach your arms up, bend your left arm, right hand reaches toward the elbow, you pull it to the middle. We'll release and switch to the other side. And 
and release. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and for joining me and for prioritizing your fitness. It's been a pleasure to teach y'all. <laughs>